Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News, checking in from my mobile studio in northern Kentucky. Happy Thanksgiving week, everybody. We've got the part one of the two-part finale of Bachelor in Paradise tonight. I'm going to have a live stream after show tomorrow night. That's right, from the mobile studio. If that's not reason for you to hit the like button and subscribe, I don't know what is. Tuesday night, 10 p.m., we'll have an after show because there's going to be some heavy hitting uh, reveals at the after show reunion party, whatever the hell you want to call it. So we'll be there, but no live streams today. Uh, so we've got Dancing with the Stars tonight. So much to get into. I am going to be covering Dancing with the Stars finale along with other entertainment news on the Bachelor Rush Hour podcast. Uh, Bachelor Rush Hour, link in the comment section wherever you want to listen. I'll be doing that all week long. Maybe not on Thursday. We might have, let's, do, let's do probably no, yeah, no Thanksgiving podcast, but I'll be here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Black Friday. Although Friday might be tough because I'm traveling. Either way, I'll try to get you guys that content. All right, so Gabby responds to the flirt with Vinny Guadagnino. Am I pronouncing that right? My Italian Americans out there. Um, that has happened on their season of Bachelor. I'm sorry, of Dancing with the Stars. So I'm going to play the clip um, that she post that they posted on Chicks in the Office podcast. Uh, but first, uh, here's a little clip of what actually uh, uh, entailed in within that flirting. Vinny got flirty with Dancing with the Stars co-star Gabby Windy. Vinny and Bachelorette alum Gabby Wendy, who also competed on season 31 of Dancing with the Stars, engaged in a flirty exchange on Instagram after her split from ex-fiancé Eric Schwer in November 2022, sparking rumor romance rumors amongst fans. Stop looking for the one, be the one, and let them all come to you, Vinny captioned on Instagram that showed him sitting on a couch while admiring New York City. Oh, on my way, Gabby commented, to which the MTV star responded, patiently waiting while you kill the finale, referring to the Bachelor Nation star nabbing a spot in the Dancing with the Stars finale with dance partner Val Trimarkovsky. Prior to that, the pair had another cheeky exchange on the social media platform in which Vinny wrote, good job, baby mama, on a video Gabby posted of one of her and Val's performances. My main man, Gabby replied. All right, here's her response to that. Um, does this stop the rumors that they're dating? They kind of just said, oh, we're having fun with it. Well, maybe you're having fun with it and you're also dating. Let me know what you guys think. In the comments, it's it's hilarious to watch. It was an inside joke that, that got away. You yeah. Know? But it's probably <laughs> funny for you guys on the other side to just sit back and laugh and be like, we could yeah, comment anything they're on the at this they're point. They're on the inside of yeah, the joke. Yeah, you can comment anything at <laughs> yeah. this point and people are going to pick it up and go, Gabby, new man, <laughs> Vinny from the Jersey Shore. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like Gabby on Jersey Reunion. I'm like, yeah. hey, hey, laundry, baby. Yeah. I'm like a Guido in after a this. Guido. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so, so funny. Fu so funny. So um, funny. Val, mm. on the other, I, I feel like people always talk about the celebs and the pressure on their personal relationships that the show creates. Like, oh, you know, they, they, they have to, they're dancing for so much. What about their husbands? What about their wives, their boyfriends, et cetera? But, you know, you, you're a pro, and the pro has to put in just as much time. So, how so now this part's interesting because a lot of the things people have been asking about Gabby's relationship with Eric, and this happens every season, is does this take a toll on your personal relationship? I mean, you're gyrating. You're on top of each other. You're doing the mamba, the vertical tango, you're doing whatever, the horizontal limbo. You're doing it all, right? And um, Val gives a good response because he's not just a dancer his wife is as well how are you doing i know your wife jenna is expecting which is super exciting so how do you balance it all too yeah yeah it's it's tough i mean i did the show for a long time so all those seasons i was single it wasn't a problem at all. <laughs> yeah. but yeah i my, my my wife now is is uh pregnant we're about to have a child in january i mean it's been an incredible time for me in my life it, it's been a, a few tough years and to answer your question it's a conversation i'm also married to another pro that's on the show so i think it's it, it's weird because to answer your question it isn't one person missing someone else it's both people really busy with the same pressure bringing it home and not really having each other to even like cons you know unpack to right but we do because we only have each other, right? So we unpack each other's stuff to each other, you know? Mm -hmm. So she comes in talking about- She needs to unpack some more buttons for that shirt. About her partner. I come in talking about my pressure, my stress, uh, and we're there for each other. But it's, yeah, it, it took some years to also figure out. Yeah. Have you gotten any uh, fatherly advice from, from your brother? 
he's kind of oh. went through the same formula. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, we ain't got no type. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We're so married to a dancer from the show. Pros um, went through that. Yeah, I mean, I, he gave me advice, but also I, I just saw through example as well, and I learned a lot. I learned what also I could avoid, uh, and the greatest thing for me i have a lot of confidence and joy is because i have a great partner uh in jenna that that i'm having a child with so you, you know it, it's just, it just gives me confidence that at least one of us will raise this kid really well <laughs> all right so i'm going to play one more clip for you guys so you know dancing with the stars the finale is tonight we've got gabby in the finale along with charlie d'amelio wayne brady and shangela pretty much everyone has a chance to win this uh any if any dance uh, surprises the judges and takes it to that next level. Like they're all, they're all basically getting nines and tens, pretty much all tens at this point. My guess is Charlie D'Amelio wins Gabby second, Wayne Brady third and Shangela fourth. That's my guess. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So the next part, now this whole video is titled Gabby Windy Felt Support Announcing Eric Breakup on Dancing with the Stars. To be honest, I think they included the Eric part for clicks. I don't, uh, n n none of this really addressed Eric, but have a listen as Gabby does talk about having the support system from Bachelor Nation. <laughs> uh, you know, and the other will will make everyone laugh in the process. Yeah, that's that's why it's nice. To, yeah, <laughs> when you have a, a good partnership, uh, Gabby, that you've had so many supportive members of Bachelor Nation and people who are there watching you. I feel like every week they pan to the crowd and Rachel's there cheering you on. How supportive have your girlfriends been? while you've been on the show? So supportive. It's been honestly such a blessing because it does. I mean, for me, it's like it's experiences are better when shared. So naturally I'm like, oh my God, don't you guys want to come to the show? But it's like every <laughs> Monday people work, you have to be there two or three hours early. You have to COVID test. But so I'm like, oh my God, like, so sorry if you don't want to come. Like, I totally understand, <laughs> you know, like if you're sick of my shit, but they show up every week, like with a huge smile and really just want to be there to support me, I think, because we all know how temporary it is. So I'm just grateful for friends who like truly, you know, give a shit about me and like want to. So when she says that, I'm, I'm grateful for friends that truly care about me, it makes you wonder if that if she believes Eric didn't. Now, I could be grasping at straws here, but by saying, I'm truly grateful for these friends, they care about me, is that implying that the reverse is was true, that Eric wasn't really invested in her? Which I don't think is the case. I, I, I don't think he wasn't at the last three or four episodes because he didn't care about her. I think it's because they got in whatever fight they were getting and were on the rocks and she didn't want him there. I think he would have been there if she wanted him there. Um, but it's interesting. Because now she's going to go from basically having 100 hours a week dancing with the stars nonstop to having a lot more free time. Now, if she wins tonight, maybe she'll have a little bit of a dancing with the stars hangover. She'll go on Good Morning America. Who knows what the hell they got her doing with the Mirror Ball Trophy. Um, she will, I believe, be touring with the Dancing with the Stars tour. So that'll keep her busy. But it's kind of like how when you um, maybe... Uh, enter sobriety and give up alcohol. It might unmask other problems that you had that you didn't realize because you were using. In this case, I relate that here because with a little bit extra free time, it'll help her um, have whatever internal therapy and whatever internal thoughts need to happen uh, to mourn the breakup with Eric. Is there a chance that she has more free time and realizes uh, she misses the relationship? Me, me, there's always a chance. I don't believe that would happen. But I do believe if there were a scenario in which she wasn't on Dancing with the Stars, she could have had a possible different outcome if she was able to feed that relationship's fire. But again, we have no idea what went down. So it's it's all speculation. You see me in this light. Yeah, And, and that's, what's, that's what's fun is that, you know, the family and friends of a lot of these celebrities are so distant to the parquet of ballroom dancing like they, they would yeah. find themselves in that space like what do we have uh Tra travis barker i think came to one of the shows yeah. and like yeah. mm -hmm. not to stereotype but i would just never think that he would ever be in a dancing with the stars I'm sure. so, yeah, yeah. Or, or or see a waltz done properly 
Yeah, who's going to see waltzes, right? They've popularized the movement, and good for them. So we've got a couple other videos coming out today. Uh, we've got a preview for Dancing with, uh, I'm sorry, a preview for Bachelor in Paradise tonight. Are you guys still watching this? I think we're all just waiting for the reunion part, right? Uh, we've got that tonight, and then we've also got Gabby and Rachel Gabby responding to the criticism that they had from ditching or dissing, excuse me, Logan on Bachelor in Paradise. So all that is to come. If you are in uh, Cincinnati and want to see my stand-up show, Go Bananas, Wednesday night. And then Saturday night, November 26th, I'm in Newport, Rhode Island at Rejects Beer Beer Co. Make sure to get your tickets now. Tickets, link in the comment section below. And then the following Thursday and Friday, I've got stand-up shows in New York City. All right, folks, more content coming your way. We'll see you in a bit.